what's up guys and welcome back to another video today's video as you can see in the title is all about Sia Khaleesi the Springbok rugby captain and the comments he made a few days ago with regards to Nelson Mandela and quota rugby players now he was he said the other day in an interview with Japan Media I think it was um, or when he was in Japan he said that he feels that Nelson Mandela wouldn't agree with quota rugby players now obviously this was the tagline within the media and unfortunately sometimes media can be cruel it can it can manipulate a situation that's not quite true um, and it can create a tagline or an article that allows you to believe something that's actually not the case now reading that people automatically judge and say see a doesn't know what he's talking about or shouldn't be involved maybe it's it is a powerful topic and maybe he shouldn't have brought it up but there are situations within this where I do agree with what he's saying. But when you watch the whole video. Now, when talking about it, he was talking about South Africa transformation um, and all that stuff. Now, there's a difference once again. Quota's player versus transformation. Quota player is when a player is put in to a team without the necessary training or that they might not be necessarily ready um, and because you need a certain amount of numbers within um, a particular team of playoff colour and all that jazz. Now this has been a situation that's faced South African sport for quite a few years now and it's caused a lot of, it's stirred up a lot of controversy, it's stirred up a lot of negativity and anger, especially in serious sporting situations. For example, when cricket, um, when we played in the World Cup, Werner Philander, who was injured, was told to by the South African government that he needs to play um, in order to fully in the quota system details which meant that Kyle Abbott had to step out. We ended up losing that game not because of Werner Philander but the informed player wasn't there which was sad because it missed out on an opportunity and because of that Kyle Abbott is now on Colpac deal which means he can't play for South Africa again because he's chosen to play overseas which is sad. Now Sia was talking about this and he was saying Madiba wouldn't agree with players being put into positions or numbers of how many players would be. He would want it on merit. Now Mandela was all for transformation and including black players, players of colour within this Springbok squad. But it needed to be done the correct way. Now when I say the correct way, it's bringing it into the the grassroots levels, transformation within the communities. For example, the townships, which is where the unfortunate poor people stay. They can't afford all these things like schools and all that stuff. So the goal was for government to bring rugby or sport into the communities, the townships, to educate these youngsters on how to play the sport and, and introduce them to it, to, to give them a new passion and dream to go for something instead of begging or, or, or leading into things like drugs, crime and all that jazz. So the whole goal of transformation, what Mandela wanted was to bring the sport to the community so they can have the opportunity to play. Sia Khaleesi is a prime example. Yes, he went to a school called Grey High School in Port Elizabeth, but he also started off in poverty, poor, didn't have much, parents couldn't afford it, but through scholarship and through all that stuff he was able to get the necessary training, food in and, and the levels of fitness in order to become a rugby player and go play for Eastern Province, Western Province, South Africa. It gave him the opportunity because they brought the sport to the community and that's what Seal was trying to say. He said if he didn't get the opportunity to go to a, a, a school, he wouldn't have eaten right. He wouldn't have had the necessary training in order to play the sport. So from that point of view, I do agree. Nelson Mandela wanted transformation within the communities to bring the sport to them, to introduce the sport to show the passion. I mean, I've been in communities within South Africa where I've actually played soccer with young kids and to see the joy and passion and love for sport that they have 
if given the opportunity, they will take it with open arms. And that's the whole point of transformation. And uh, that's what government, and I'm sure they will do in the future, I really hope and pray, will focus on is helping the younger generation, giving them the opportunity to go into the townships and give these guys a chance at greatness, a chance at education, a chance at playing sport, playing for their province, playing for their country, opposed to throwing in a player who might not be mentally ready or might not be the best player. Throwing them in it can lose and destroy a rugby career. It can destroy a player's confidence. Um, Sia said he does not want to play for the Springboks if chosen because of his colour. No one wants to. You want to play on merit. There's so many situations where people jump to conclusions and unfortunately it's been trending on Twitter in South Africa, um, Sia Khaleesi situation and there have been people who have shown support, there have been people who have shown hate, there have been people who have said he should rather keep quiet. Now, maybe it wasn't a topic that should have been brought up because it brings up something, but with a man of the experience who's experienced the, the life that's unfortunate or being poor, for him to share his message with the community and show them, look, I was in that situation, but I didn't give up. I believed in myself. I, I wanted this goal to play for the team, my, my country. And he fought every day. He trained hard. And once given the opportunity to go to a school, he went on. Now, it doesn't mean going to a school. Any guy can do it. But again, bringing it to the community. Even the schools that aren't necessarily a school like Gray High School, the, 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 anyone can have the opportunity, but it's important for sport within South Africa, the government and sport, to take it to the community so you can find these fantastic players. And for me personally, I feel that South African rugby is on the mend and on the rise at choosing great players. Look at Dianti, Aplon. All these fantastic names, Impimpi, Nkosi, Sia, Javan Nkane, all these fantastic players of colour have been given the opportunity to play for the Springboks and it's only growing and developing and these guys are there because they are talented. And as we grow and develop within the communities within South Africa, develop within the sports of South Africa, it will get better. Same goes for cricket. We've seen great, great players coming through. Kakiso Robada, he's going to be one of the best bowlers. He is the best test bowler in the world currently, but he's going to be one of the greatest South African bowlers. We've got Tembo Bavuma, fantastic player of colour. We've got Pat Lechoyo. We've got Nguini. We've got fantastic players coming up because of transformation. And that's the key. The difference between the two is massive. I said, quote is when you put it in, put a player in when they're not ready, kicking out another person's opportunity of achieving success, transformation, bringing sport to the community, giving them the opportunity to live their dream, play sport, have an education. And that's what government needs to put their focus on rather than kicking out players, build the community, build sport, grow sport. Nelson Mandela said, sport is the power to change lives. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite. It is more powerful than governments, than uniting nations together. And that is so important to remember as a South African, as a person from any country around the world. It has the power to unite. And that is why teams like the All Blacks are so good. It's because from younger levels, they are brought up. They are taught the sport. They are, it's drilled in the passion and the love for the game. And through that, they take it to school, to club, to provincial, to international, and become the greatest team in the world. Now, South Africa are on the mend, doing the right things and right, getting the right procedures in place. And we can see it in the provinces, and we are seeing it develop within Springbok Rugby. Obviously, more can be done, and more should be done, so everyone gets an equal opportunity to play, but doing it the right way. And going back to Sia, look, I agree with what he was saying. From 
the interview, not from the tagline. Don't just read the tagline and judge a book by its cover or threaten or, or, or go for the guy. Think first before you attack and remember that he went through tough situations and yes I know there are people who went through even worse situations but that's why it's important that the government of South Africa help these guys give them the encouragement give them the necessary equipment um, food levels and all that stuff in order to take on the goal take on the opportunity and take South African sport to the next level it can be done we just need to believe in ourselves Believe in the people, no matter what race, no matter what color, and believe in everything that you are capable of doing. And not think about yourself, but think about the community and sport and how to bring the two together. Because if we do that right and continue to build and develop, we are going to be an amazing sporting nation. Mark my words. But we need to do it the right way, the correct way the responsible way that's going to do it for today's video guys i thought i'd share my thoughts i've had a few people asking me um, to share my thoughts on it i wasn't originally going to do it because i don't like talking so much politics and sport because it gets up generates a lot of hate but i try to give a more positive respectful opinion of this and also to share the light on what sia actually meant opposed to what certain media outlets are saying so always look for the actual source the actual interview before judging on what media says very important about that because it just can either make or break you that's going to do it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did and agree with what i'm saying give it a thumbs up make sure you leave your comments down below let me know your thoughts on the situation whether you're from ireland australia new zealand england scotland wales blah 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 wherever you are let me know your thoughts especially if you're from south africa do you agree or disagree but i think sia Khaleesi was in the right but maybe it shouldn't have been a topic mentioned when we are just so close to world cup season and this topic will be brought up again thanks so much for watching guys stay safe never give up and remember you're one of a kind Cheers.